restoration process, we try to, to duplicate what was, what was originally here. My background actually uh, starts back when I was 17. I joined the uh, United States Marine Corps and I served 25 years. And then when I when I retired, I needed something to do because I was relatively young and everything. So what happened was um, I started working with a friend of mine who happens to be a woodworker and we were doing a multitude of different projects. And what happened was there wasn't anything that he could do that I couldn't do. And it turns out that I have a natural ability um, for woodworking and stuff. So I took my, took my skills to the next level. We did this uh, porch floor. Uh, we made that out of uh, white oak. And uh, it's coated with a, a sea troll oil, which is very good, UV resistant and everything. And uh, so it should give a, a lot of light. And the reason we picked um, uh, the white oak for the floor, for the porch flooring, is it's, it's not in direct weather because there, it's an undercover porch. Um, but it does have very good rock resistance. And it is good for, um, for this type of application. Um, it's, it has totally different characteristics than red oak. Um, red oak would, would rot pretty quick in this kind of environment. Um, but if you if you think about um, what what did they they use oak you know white oak for? Well, they used it for timber framing in a lot of the pole barns. Okay, and they also use it for, for barrels that are for wine and, and uh, spirits and, and things like that. Um, so it's it's very good. It has very good properties. I custom made these uh, Sepelian handrails, um, which is short for African mahogany. Uh, it has a great outdoor uh, life capability, insect uh, resistant. Uh, and uh, so that's why I chose this specific wood because it's out here in the elements. And um, we, uh, you know, thought that, you know, chose that specifically for these, these handrails. If you left it outside untreated for the last um, roughly 25 years without any type of rotting or anything because of the, the natural elements, it's a very tight grain and it has it has uh, oily resin in it and it's also insect repellent. So there's, there's no termites or carpenter bees or carpenter ants that are going to attack this because it's, it's pretty much toxic to them but not to humans. Um, so that's the reason we, we did choose this way.